at a high level, we'll talk through three different approaches for LLM eval today as we as we um, see them with our customers and our and our users. And we'll talk about some of the trade-offs and um, where they're helpful and where they sometimes fall down. We'll run through OSS benchmarks and metrics. This is the notion that there's some really exciting open benchmarks out there, many of which were actually contributors of at uh, on the snorkel side. They're very critical to moving the field forward, um, but often are missing some enterprise-specific context. We'll talk about a very common and exciting approach called LLM as a judge, where you use one LLM in a really fast and scalable way, but often, again, is kind of missing your specific domain knowledge and task-specific nuance. And third, we'll, we'll understand how human annotation is often a great way to leverage your own domain knowledge, but as you can imagine, is very resource-intensive and uh, can lead to certain biases if you're not careful about how you're setting up those types of evals. So OSS benchmarks and metrics, right? The field is, is uh, built on these types of open benchmarks, right? Uh, we're big fans of Helm over at Stanford. We we help contribute to this over in 2022 in an ongoing way um, with our co-founder, Chris Ray. And a lot of these benchmarks, right, are, are really, really exciting ways to measure generic general purpose LLMs, um, compare them to each other, and have been really good ways to understand, hey, are we moving forward with each iteration of these large language models at scale? So these are really good for comparing these general purpose LLMs, these you know, larger foundation models. But oftentimes when we talk to our customers and users, they don't quite apply to specialized use cases, right? These general metrics around say reasoning or NLP or you know um, sentence completion or instruction following are again helpful when you're building these base models, but can be a little bit less relevant when you're trying to build a you know medical co-pilot, right? Or a or, you know financial services chatbot. Um, they don't often operate over proprietary domain specific data, right? They're often built around generalist data sets. And so as a result, can often fall down when you're trying to make them work for your own specific use cases. Another approach that we've seen as a really common and, and actually quite clever approach is to use an LLM as a judge. The idea here is, hey, use one LLM as your evaluator model. You know, this could be an off-the-shelf GPT. There have been some approaches where you know, uh, folks have been fine-tuning their own eval-focused LLMs to rate or compare responses. But the challenge here is that while they're really good for quick and dirty sanity checks of, you know, general purpose LLMs, they can be a pretty good way to get, give you a gut check, you know, in a pretty scalable way by just running your LLM, you know, programmatically. They, they can also be very effective for evaluating distilled models, right? So if your main goal is to take some generalist LLM and put it uh, distill it down into a more cost-effective form factor, it can be a very, very effective way to actually you know, use that as a ground truth set. The challenge is that for high accuracy, specialized use cases, again, for cost-effective evaluation where you're sensitive to these high per token costs, these, these methods can, can fall down. And I'll share an analogy for how I think about this, right? Imagine you're a hospital, imagine you've helped train a bunch of college students all the way from undergrad through residency and fellowship, and now you're asking, you know, another college student off the street to evaluate that, you know, doctor who you've trained up over the years. That's often not a sensical way to actually, you know, capture your own objectives and domain specific knowledge, you know, that's specific to your hospital, specific to your specialty, maybe can give a gut check for different types of problems. But if you're really building these enterprise specific applications, this is where we see some of these approaches fall down in, in specialized use cases. Human annotation is another approach here, right? The idea is to take human annotators, either outsourced or in-house, and use them to manually rate or compare LLM responses. And, you know, if you're outsourcing, this can be a really, you know, nice and scalable way for domain general problems, but it can really be a non-starter if you're trying to evaluate, you know, proprietary domain-specific data, right? We often work with enterprise customers in finance, healthcare, you know, even tech where, Data privacy is a huge, huge concern, and even sending a lot of these, you know, data points in, in an outsourced way is is often a non-starter. These folks don't really have the expertise to label against specific objectives, and in a lot of cases, it's it's just not uh, compliant to send this data off-prem. Another approach is teams may actually leverage their subject matter experts to annotate in-house data, right? And this is great for specialized use cases. It's great to um, you know, try to take a look at these proprietary domain-specific data sets. 
But again, it can be really unscalable. These are, you know, doctors, underwriters, analysts that we're talking about who have day jobs, and we're asking them to spend many, many hours, often hundreds or thousands of hours in Excel, looking at these data points one by one. It can be a really cost ineffective approach that that doesn't quite scale, especially if your objectives are changing a bunch over time. You can imagine, hey, every time you get new data, every time you change your business goals, you kind of have to start from scratch in order to evaluate these models um, in a robust way over time. So on their own, a lot of these approaches are, are insufficient for enterprise use cases. A lot of our focus at Snorkel has been thinking about how do we take these approaches and um, you know, take the best of all of these worlds to, to build these domain-specific custom evals that work for you know, enterprise use cases.